guys, welcome back. We are at the, where, where's this place at, Kevin? Tacoma Convention Center. At Tacoma Convention Center at the Jet City Comic... Con. Con. Comic Con in uh, Tacoma, Washington. Tacoma is near Seattle. And check this place out, man. We got Batman here. Look at this. We got Batman. We have... Who's the mermaid? We got Iron... Look at this, guys. This is awesome. We got, look at this, Batman. Bat, look at that, Batman is awesome. I think we have Batgirl. Uh, I don't know all my characters. Uh, we have Captain America. Bubba Fett. Uh, I don't even know my all my Star Wars characters. So many characters right here. It's pretty awesome. Uh, this is the uh, Terra Crux gaming area. They have cool. Uh, this is not. This is He, he Man. Yeah. Okay, cool. I've never seen this. It's pretty cool. This is a new game. He Man, the uh, role playing game. Okay. I've never seen that in my life. All right. We're doing initiative. Do you guys like? Do you guys like He Man? Yeah. It's pretty cool. What's up? Okay. I think they have magic over here. And then we have the this trooper, um, this Lance. Well, this is pretty cool. The Star Wars thing. Yeah, this is pretty awesome because like Halloween just occurred, and uh, and it's kind of like one of those. There's like stuff going on. So th I think this has gone on like a few times now. Uh, yeah. What what game is this? Dungeons and Dragons. Dun Dungeons and Dragons. Oh, there you go. I've never played. Oh, yeah. It's awesome. Real fun. The different games, like Tomb of Anatomy. So basically, you sit here and play some tabletop games, and it's a huge, it's basically the size of, it's like GP, uh, GP Seattle, uh, but they basically converted it into a room full of like cosplaying, uh, stuff like that going on. It's pretty cool. There's a lot of stuff going on. A lot of cool costumes. Let's check out more costumes. There's Link. That's cool. Yeah, so this is a kind of an alternative video. Not the typical video that we do, but there's a lot of Funko and anime stuff. Uh, I don't know, like this is kind of different than the typical magic stuff. Well, that's pretty cool. Is there, how old is this? What's up? How old are these Wonder Woman characters? Yeah, they're only a few years old. A couple years old? They look really vintage. Uh, yeah, they're a remake of the old Migos figures. Yeah. Do you know anybody that um, uh, has uh, 2016 Marvel Masterpieces? Uh, you know what? I'm, I'm looking for some of those, okay. But you have Magic Cards, right? That's cool. Are you guys a comic book shop? Yes, we are. Oh, uh, we're at, like, like out of where? This is where? Uh, in Des Moines. All right, this is where my vlog anyway. I, I go around and, oh, here you go. Okay, guys, I can't pull it up, but it's Catacomb Comics and uh, role playing, right? And what's your name? Tori. Tori, are you the owner? Uh, no, she is. I oh, just kind of helped out. Oh, great, man. So you guys have everything magic, uh, board, uh, games, board games, TV, uh, comic books. So, out of Des Moines, Washington, guys, I, I, I've never heard of you guys, and I play magic, and I didn't know you guys would be in existence, so this is good to know. Yeah, yeah. we do Friday Night Magic, we do events, uh, yeah. we do really solid stuff. So, um, What's your guys' favorite game? Uh, mine is Betrayal on House of Nail. Is that a role play game? No, uh, kinda. It's uh, Where's that at? Betrayal? It's, I, we don't have it here, but it's um, it's like a horror game. Kinda horror game. Cthulhu-ish style. Nice. So you, 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 guys play, you guys play magic? Yeah. Yeah. You guys like magic? Oh yeah. Yeah. What, what, do you guys like commander or like, do you like standard? Um, I just, I like drafting a lot. Um, drafting? Some standard, a little commander. Yeah, yeah. Did you, guys, did you guys see this recent uh, promo cards where they, re, did you, it's basically like um, they gave like some uh, free promo cards to people that didn't miss out on some of the uh, return, Guilds of Ravnica online. And they're like Termagoyf and different, yeah, I'm not kidding, oh, Bitter Blossom, uh, Engineering Explosive, these free, like they're like gifts. They're pretty, yeah. It's like a, ultimate box promo like thing box topper or something because they basically messed up on order they're giving them out right. yeah so i saw them today i was like whoa what is that 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Online, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, online, if you would have bought the, um, if you would have bought like the Walmart, the card shop, the master set or whatever, the special set they had recently, the uh, mythic, the mythic edition set. Math oh, yeah. Oh, there, yeah there was there something was, that's uh, exclusive on the Hasbro. Planeswalkers. Right, right, right. Yep, yep. So if you missed out on that, there was something where if you mess up on the website or you didn't get it, they got these promo cards. Crazy. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah that's crazy. You should check it out. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, thanks for sharing, man. Yeah. Thank you. Good, yeah. So they got a lot of cool stuff here. <laughs> You got kids everywhere, you got comic books. Yeah, I didn't even hear about that stuff recently, about that promo edition cards. But apparently, it's a pretty big deal, man. Uh, yeah, just put in the comments below what you guys think about those promo cards. If there, if there's kind of like, if, you know, like do you think they're gonna hold their value? Do you think they're not gonna hold their value? Do you think it's just a fad? Uh, I don't know, it's kind of weird. It's like, it's, it's, I think it's a pack where you basically get like a card. One card, I think, that's what I've seen. One of my buddies got an engineering explosives out of it. Uh, pretty cool. And what I like about the new art of that stuff is basically you have really cool um, like stretched horizontal art versus the vertical. So it, it goes past the borders a little bit uh, all the way and it's a full art. This is pretty cool. This is like old Star Wars guy. How old are the Star Wars figures? Depends on which one you're Like the, the black, uh, the black one, the black uh, labels. They're generally 77. This is, 1977? These are, these are the, those are the original ones. Well, the OG, yeah, I reckon the OG, right? Wow, guys, this is awesome. What does something like this go for? It doesn't go for $2.77, obviously. No. <laughs> yeah, and these, and these aren't graded, right? Or something like that, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just doing it for my vlog. Uh, how much? How much is this? $550, guys. Forget magic cards. This is amazing. <laughs> I collect Transformers, and I love this stuff. Wow, this is beautiful. So, uh, can you uh, what is your name, by the way? Can't be on your. Oh, vlog. you can't. Okay, be on the vlog. Okay. Well, he can't be on the vlog. But that's okay. Uh, can you explain like grading of stuff? Grading. It's not my thing. Uh, you're grading. Okay. Fuck him. <laughs> can, can, can you be on the vlog and explain it to us? Like grading. Grading. Grading of good. toys. Can you explain that to us? <laughs> well, yes. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. All right, guys. Well, this is a great shop here, and they're. Uh, are you guys out of Washington? Yeah. Okay, every Washington, check them out. I'm trying to give you guys some promotion for my vlog. So anyway, I I was I apologize. I was I I, I hope that was okay. That it's quick fine. quick glance. So check them out. I'm just trying to get someone to explain to me how grading uh, uh, toys goes goes and stuff because I collect Transformers. Oh. Yeah. So I I was just wondering. You guys don't have Transformers, do you? No. You do? Oh, well, where are they at? Okay. Well, I'll have to come back here in a minute after I went my walkthrough. But this is the coolest thing I've seen so far. This is the older Obi-Wan Kenobi, Luke Skywalker. This is pretty awesome. So this, you guys are out of Everett, Washington, so check them out. Go on their website, check them out. Man, this is awesome. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Here. Oh, man. Are these the original? Yeah. The first edition? Some of them are. Some of them are, okay. What year did they come out? 83? 1983 was the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Wow. Okay. See, I grew up with that, but I don't rem I remember like watching them and yeah. That's awesome. This is amazing. Definitely different than the traditional stuff. Definitely the traditional magic stuff. This is the stuff that really it's home to a lot of like magic people who like enjoy, like they grew up with comic books and figurines and stuff like that first. That was their love. Hi. Hi. These are awesome. They have, they have awesome knitted hats. That's my little vlog I have. No, oh, these. These are neat. Do you make them yourself? No, I, this is actually a book for a friend. Her mom made these. Oh, wow. Yeah, she's really cool. She's really good at them, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. A lot of the jewelry, my friend, unfortunately, she's not here. 
She made it herself? Oh yeah, she's really great. What's her website? Is her website? Uh, there's, she doesn't have a website. There's cards at the end. Um, and it is. Yeah, if you guys want a knitted hat, this place is awesome. It's winter time coming up. <laughs> Thanks. Nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you. All right. Then we have like decals. A lot of local shops. A lot of local shops. Whoa, Cobra Commander! Hello. Wow. He has to catch his child. He's running away. Oh, is he? Oh, little. Oh. <laughs> How is your daughter? Or yours? No. Oh. How? Oh, that's cute. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. So cute. That's cute. It's like uh, Captain America. Little, little Captain America. So, so many comics, it's almost insane. If you're a comic book fan, this is a nice little, it's not as big as Emerald City. Emerald City is way bigger, but, Emerald City Con, but it's extremely cool to have another one. I think Emerald City Con is in March. So if you go to Emerald City Con, you can basically go there and check it out. It has, I think it has a lot better, bigger area. Now there's a lot of artists here too, like comic book artists. I noticed. Let's take a look at some. Uh, let's see what else we got. Oh, we got some more costumes. Oh, I gotta get more. Hold on a sec. This is the best costume I've seen so far. Awesome costume. So who are you supposed to be? Uh, right here. Oh, it's beautiful. Thank you. Can you can you do a pose for me real quick? All right, guys. So this is her pose. Check it out. So serious. Is she supposed to be serious? She's supposed to be serious. Very nice. Great costume. Oh, that is smile. That's smart. Look at this. This is cool. It's like Halloween. It was just Halloween, guys, and it's like another Halloween uh, extravaganza, basically. This is like. I think this is more like publisher arts type of thing. They have like different things, like Spider-Man and uh, artists and different like Marvel artists. I think they're like fan art or pop art. And there's a lot of different things going on here. There's also some celebrities on this side. That's kind of cool. I could, so these people, okay, so let's go over to the celebrity side. Uh, you know what, they're at lunch. Okay, they're at lunch. Celebrities are at lunch. We have different people that book, we're authors of books, authors of books, different authors. Oh, Voltron. How you doing, man? Good. Voltron. Oh man, are you the one of the artists? I am. Oh, I hey, can I record? Yeah, I was gonna. Sure. Blake, Blackie Shepherd. That's me. Nice. So, how, I I grew up with Voltron. Are you so, one of the original ones? No. Okay. So, so how does it work? Uh, I did the last uh, classic Voltron series before the big reboot. So Dynamite had the license and uh, offered the series to Colin Bunn. Who you may have heard of. Okay. Uh, he's written a few comic books, I've heard. Uh, and uh, they put me on art, and Colin and I worked on uh, worked on it for, I think we did, it was a six-issue six series. Yeah. And then after we finished, that's when they sold the license to, I guess, DreamWorks, yeah. who did the new reboot. And, uh, so there's a new series out right now. Yeah, Lion Forge is the company handling uh, the, the Voltron comic right now. Okay. But they're not, as I understand it, they're not using artists in the traditional sense to create the comics. What they're doing, and again, I might be wrong, this is just what I've heard talking to a couple of editors at Lion Forge, is that, uh, that uh, or not Lion Forge, a different company. Um, what they're doing is they're repurposing the art assets from the cartoon and, and kind of remixing it into the comic book. Now, right. I'm probably getting that wrong, so if you have any kind of audience... No, no, no that's fine. No, no, no yeah. Going, Dude, this guy's an idiot. He well, yeah, I'm more in the gaming side, but yeah, already, yeah, this is awesome. If yeah. you guys, do you have any original art? No, I've sold all, most of the original all, stuff that I did. Did you start with original, or did you do digital now, mostly? Uh, I do a hybrid. So okay. the way I do it is I do my blue line, which... Yeah, show us is like this. I do this digitally yep. because I can I can concentrate on my storytelling. I can squash and stretch and I can flip stuff and I can, you know, kind of copy and paste, you know, and then I print that out onto 
uh, 11 by 17 artboard, and then I do my pencils by hand, and then I scan that, and I finish my pencils digitally, and I throw, if I'm gonna do an ink or a color, I'll do it right. digitally as well. So, so obviously for time, it's more efficient to actually have it uh, digital. If I were gonna be just a speed demon, I would just work. Right, it. right, yeah. 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 Do, you, uh, do you miss going traditionally more often? No, because I still draw traditionally. Yeah, yeah. You know? yeah. And I'm, I'm a little bit weird in so far as I force myself not to use a lot of the tools that digital affords you, yeah. because I don't want to lose my traditional skills. Right. I still erase, and I don't, if I need to change an arm, I don't just cut, copy and cut and paste, and I redraw the arm. What character was that? Well, the thing is, it'd be one thing if he was playing good music. Oh, yeah, that's true. But it's garbage music, which yeah. just makes it annoying, you know? Uh, Blackie, right? Yes. So uh, so thanks for your time. If, uh, where can someone find you on your website? Uh, let me see. I'm on Instagram. Yeah. Let me see. You just type in your name, right? Blackie Shepard? Yeah, so here, just scan that. So my Instagram is artdevil313, and my uh, Facebook and Twitter is CQ Shep. Yeah. All right, well, cool. I'm going to end it right here. So, guys, thanks again for watching. We got an awesome Voltron artist. One of my favorite, favorite characters is, uh, was Voltron, the whole show. Sure. And it's awesome that you could spend the time to share with us. If you guys have any questions, this is Jet City Con. you know what number it is? How many have they done? I think they're on their fifth or sixth year, but I could be corrected yeah. on that. Something fifth or sixth. Check it out. I'll put some links on my uh, YouTube uh, below. And I uh, appreciate you guys' time. Thanks, Mikey. Hey, take it easy. Take care.